Hello, Internet, and welcome back to another episode of Meet La Prensa. Viewer, if you like what you see here, if you find value in our content, please like and subscribe. And if you really like what you see here, consider buying us a cup of coffee. You can find the link to do so right here. So today we're going to do a monologue episode. And the topic of the monologue is going to be the Latinos who voted for Donald Trump. There's been a lot of information coming out since the 2020 election that ended in November about the Latinos who voted for Trump. They are now quite the anomaly, but we're going to try something a little bit different tonight. So we're going to make an abbreviated episode of Meet La Prensa. So Ivan, if you can, put the timer up. Give me three minutes. So three minutes. This is our pitch to Latinos who voted for Donald Trump in the 2020 election to come on our show. You are the anomaly, Latinos who voted for Trump. You are the absolute anomaly. No one expected that Latinos were going to vote for Donald Trump. Pollster after pollster after pollster in 2019 and 2020 said that the Latino vote was a lock for Democrats. That turned out to be untrue. Increasingly, as the postmortems come in on the 2020 election, we see that Latinos swayed toward Trump. Now, 61% of Latino voters did vote for Joe Biden, and some people would call that a comfortable margin. But we have a midterm election coming up. And again, you know, both parties seem to have this disconnect with Latino voters. I think that one of the interesting things in this article, oops, sorry, this, well, this article right here, ooh, in Vox showed that Latinos are neither cleanly Democrat nor cleanly Republican. Now, that's really interesting to me because if you're trying to appeal to the Latino voter, that means that you absolutely, neither party can take the Latino voter for granted. We are up for grabs. And that's something that reporting by Catalyst and Equis, which are both progressive Democrat firms, polling firms, show. Now, it has yet to be seen if Democrats are actually going to take this seriously, but Republicans have been campaigning as the underdogs in Latino community for some time. So let me put it this way. I'm going to share this video with the Latinos who I know who've worked for Donald Trump's campaign and invite them to come on this show. We have one rule when we have Trump supporters, Trump voters on this show. We are not here to talk about immigration with you, and we are certainly not here to talk about ICE with you. So do not bring immigration up and do not bring ICE up with me. I hate ICE. I love immigrants. That's never going to change. But let's talk about some of the other issues that are important to you. Education, economy, the legislation going through Capitol Hill, the things that Americans don't hear enough about with all of the noise going on about other you know, issues and things like that. So Latinos for Trump, come on our show, sit with us. Let's have a civil conversation. We just want to understand you better. We aren't here to cast blame, cast aspersions or anything like that. We just want to know more about you. We, this is an open call for Latinos for Trump. We want to have you on our show. So first of all, Sandra, Giancarlo, you guys are going to be the first ones I send this video to. You guys overperformed. You overperformed. If anything, you underpromised and overdelivered as operatives for the Donald J. Trump campaign. Congratulations. Even though you lost, you guys actually did a pretty good job for your boss. We're going to invite you on this show. We hope you come on this show. You guys both know me. I am not here to make a shit show of an interview. I actually want to learn from you, and I hope we can have a good conversation. So Sandra, Giancarlo, you guys will be the first ones we invite. And anyone else who sees this video who wants to come on our show and vote for Trump, let us know. And that's three minutes. We did it. We did it. And uh, yeah, that's a wrap. <laughs>